Hello students in this lesson we will discuss about D and F block elements and in this video we will see the potassium dichromate that is K2Cr2O7 So here we will see the preparation of potassium dichromate it is prepared from chromite ore that is FeCr2O4 in the following steps Chromite ore when react with NaOH sodium hydroxide and oxygen then the reaction will yield Na2CrO4 that is sodium chromate and as a by product you will get Fe2O3 that is ferric oxide and water or the reaction could be FeCr2O4 that is chromite ore when react with Na2CO3 sodium carbonate and oxygen then the reaction will yield Na2CrO4 that is sodium chromate but here as a by product instead of water you will get carbon dioxide gas now the second step in the preparation of potassium dichromate is conversion of sodium chromate into sodium dichromate the yellow solution of sodium chromate is filtered and acidified with H2SO4 giving Na2Cr2O7 that is sodium dichromate. Here is the reaction you can see sodium chromate when react with H2SO4 sulfuric acid then the reaction will yield Na2Cr2O7 that is sodium dichromate and as a byproduct you will get Na2SO4 that is sodium sulfate and water. Now come to the third step in the preparation of potassium dichromate that is conversion of sodium dichromate to potassium dichromate. Sodium dichromate is more soluble than potassium dichromate. Therefore potassium dichromate is prepared by mixing a hot concentrated solution of sodium dichromate and potassium chloride KCl in equimolar properties. Here is the reaction. Sodium dichromate Na2Cr2O7 when react with potassium chloride KCl then the reaction will yield K2Cr2O7 that is potassium dichromate and NaCl sodium chloride. This is the structure of dichromate Cr2O7. Now we will see the properties of potassium dichromate. Potassium dichromate is an orange red crystalline solid having melting point of 670 Kelvin. It is moderately soluble in cold water but readily soluble in hot water. Now we will see action of heat on potassium dichromate. It decomposes on heating to form potassium chromate. Here is the reaction. You can see K2Cr2O7 that is potassium dichromate on heating decompose into potassium chromate K2CrO4. Now we will see the action of potassium dichromate with alkalis. On heating with alkali the orange color of potassium dichromate changed to yellow due to formation of chromate ion. This is the reaction. You can see potassium dichromate when react with KOH that is an alkali then it will convert to potassium chromate K2Cr2O4 and thus you can see the orange color of potassium dichromate will change to yellow color due to formation of chromate ion. Now we will see chromyl chloride test. When potassium dichromate is heated with concentrated H2SO4 and soluble metal chloride, orange red vapors of chromyl chloride are evolved. Here is the reaction. Potassium dichromate K2Cr2O7 when react with NaCl that is the metal chloride and concentrated H2SO4 then the reaction will yield KHSO4, NHSO4 and CrO2Cl2 that is chromyl chloride. Now we will see the action of potassium dichromate with HCl. On reacting with hydrochloric acid potassium dichromate gives chlorine. Here is the reaction. K2Cr2O7 potassium dichromate when react with HCl hydrochloric acid then it will form KCl that is potassium chloride and CrCl3 that is chromium chloride and H2O that is water and Cl2 that is chlorine. Now come to the oxidizing character of potassium dichromate. The dichromate acts as powerful oxidizing agent in acidic medium. In the presence of dilute H2SO4, it liberates iodine from potassium iodide. Here is the reaction. Ki that is potassium iodide 
when react with potassium dichromate in presence of dilute H2SO4 then the reaction will yield K2SO4 that is potassium sulfate and Cr2SO4 whole thrice that is chromium sulfate and water and iodine. Now we will see how potassium dichromate oxidizes ferrous salt to ferric salt. Here is the reaction. FeSO4 that is ferrous sulfate that is a ferrous salt when react with potassium dichromate K2Cr2O7 in presence of H2SO4 sulfuric acid then the reaction will yield K2SO4 that is potassium sulfate and FeSO4 whole thrice that is ferric sulfate this is the ferric salt and as a byproduct you will get water and chromium sulfate so you can see how potassium dichromate oxidizes ferrous salt to ferric salt.